Hi guys, so welcome back and we are doing this stunning glitter and blooming gel rose today. So the colours I'm using, the acrylic is also classy. The glitter is a champagne multicolor and then I have just got some champagne foil stuff. So I'm going to do a full nail of this red on the pinky but this is pretty easy to follow so I will just let you watch and I will come back when and if. So on this point, I'm going in with a champagne glitter straight onto a clear bit of acrylic. And then I thought I would just try something a bit different with this. So this glitter is so sparkly. So on the pinky, I did the glitter straight over the red. And on this one, what I'm going to try is, instead of going over and capping it in clear, I'm going to do a little bit of the red acrylic straight over the top of this. So I just wanted to see what kind of effect that made and I've got to say it did it did actually work it looks really nice so I'm just topping this one up so you can see the bits of red peeking through this one so can you see the difference there to the colour so one looks like a rose gold and this one just looks more of a goldy colour so just picking that bit of red up I'm just going to spread it all over that nail and then because the brushes are pretty wet I'm just making that acrylic powder really like a wash and I'm just going to smudge that all over the top of this glitter so you'll be able to see the effect that has but yeah I just thought I'd share that and then I'll be back in a little bit. 
we're on to the designs now so this is some blooming gel that i have used base coat before so if you haven't got this try some of your other gel polish coats and see what happens so just done a coat of that and i'm just going to take this it's like a pinky like i don't know it's like pink peachy color so i'm just starting to do this rose so i'm just doing like petals all the way around so do it thick in the middle and then just taper that out on the corners and then just follow it all the way around just try and get where the little gaps are going around just try and make sure the thickest part of your next set of rose petals is in between that and it gives a better effect so i'm going to do the same on this one just on the red and then once i have cured that i am going to come back and i'm just going to do a little bit of a lighter colour around them petal edges so I'll come back in a little bit Okay, so I'm just going to top coat these so you'll see how sparkly these are when you just use the gloss top coat. But I just, they were really sparkly so I decided once I've done this and cured it, they were a bit too sparkly for me in real life, should I say. So I decided to go in and add the matte top coat over this. So I'll do the matte now and then I will show you what that looks like. So this is the gloss one. You can see how sparkly that is. And like I says, I'm going to go over and mattify these up now just to see if it dulls that down a little bit. And it's not very often you hear somebody say, I'm going to dull the glitter down. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. So I will leave you with a picture of these when they've been wiped and cleaned up. And you'll be able to see what they look like in matte effect as well. So thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you in my next one. Let me know in the in in the comments if you like this one or the gloss best. Bye.